Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. Oh, God! Oh, my God, Matt! Revelation. Revelation. So we're gonna we're gonna find out. It's Hannah, right? Mm. This it's is Emily. A, it's a spirit bear. Oh, you mean what that? You think this fiery person is Hannah? Mm. Less so now. Don't do it! Oh God! Oh. What the hell is that? Oh my! The Maybe the janitor's a good guy. Ah. Oh God! Oh, oh, Emily. What are you put her in the cupboard for? Oh. Use these. What was it? What did you give her? Oh. Quick. Oh. That's right, he's nice. So, I mean, we forgot means... about the miners, didn't we, who went to hospital oh, and turned into weird zombies. creatures. Yeah. Zombie miners. That's a good call. And I was thinking spirit bear this whole time. Also, I mean, it does mean that Mike probably cut his fingers off for no reason. Or Why? rather, that you cut Mike's fingers off for no reason. Because he wasn't in any danger in that hotel, because that man's or in the sanatorium. Because that seems like a good guy. No, but it, his fingers were cut in a... It was a dog that was coming to get him. Not a man. I guess so. The, the, that's Whatever what happened. You say, that's what happened. What? Hey, have we been here before? Don't think so. Calgary. That looks nice. Now, who do we know Greetings from Calgary? from Calgary. I don't know. Hi, Billy. I remember Billy Bates? Yeah. I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary. Loretta. Loretta. He's in the Blasting Crew. Interesting. Me, you and Rob should make a crew called the Blasting Crew. No. Blasting. No, we shouldn't. I'll never join you. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone Star Wars <laughs> mad. <laughs> I love Star Wars. I'm wearing the jumper. I'm holding the jewel shock. And it's making me feel safe and warm. In these testing times. The lighting's good in this game, isn't it? It's really Just good. Just think about that. The comforting lighting. God, I don't like the mo- I just remember there's horrible mobile zombies. <laughs> I, saw, I saw something over here. Okay. I think it's that. Yeah. Is it a totem? We it may looks have like a, a totem. totem. Sir, we have a totem. Okay, let's do it. It looks like Ed the Duck. Ooh, it's a white one. Is that, is that it's good? It's That's good, isn't it? Oh, that didn't really... A fortune. <laughs> and Mike doesn't... He's got a gun and he doesn't shoot someone. That's what I was getting there. Not shooting. The way that we've played this whole game has been about the preservation of life, isn't it? You know? So not shooting someone, that's a good thing. Yeah. I don't think shooting someone is ever a good thing. No, I think you're right. Unless maybe they are a horrible zombie That's creature okay, yeah. in That's a mine. True. But even then, I mean, you need to be really sure. If they're a big syringe, because we're scared of syringes. Oh! Oh, God. Um, Emily's so brave. <laughs> don't lie, she didn't scream. That was horrible. It was horrible. I'm going to adjust myself. Blimey. That, that's a new level of horror. I know. It just felt all uncomfortable. What's this? What's this? Enter gap. Oh, God. Oh, you just pressed it. You just right in there in the gap. I wasn't expecting that. Keep going. Oh, it's going to come. It's going to come. Oh, it's oh, it. There it is. Wait, I remember oh, seeing that. she can just run. Do you remember seeing that? We saw that in a totem. Oh, my oh, God. My God. Oh, God. Stop Buttons. talking. Buttons. Oh, triangle. Ah. Square. Pick up the fire, Emily. Oh, there we go. We've had a good look at one. Oh, wow. What? Oh, I've got to choose a direction, for God's sake. Go oh, right. God. How are we supposed to know, man? Oh, oh. <laughs> that was horrible. How did you get past it? Press the elevator. 
Don't do that! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the power's not on. It is on. Oh, God. Very she hasn't looked well. in the bag. What's in the bag? This is a false sense of security. If ever I've seen one. There's a big oh. hole in the fence behind you. What about Paul Matt? Why did it finish fire? Oh, she just dropped it. She just dropped a... Uh... Okay, wow. that was cool. Uh, oh my god, that was so close, Nate. I don't know if you even did it. I did. So that was the... That's the vision. It's it's zombie vision. <laughs> We've got fire. I guess the zombie ripped wow. off. She is... She Emily's kicked that ass. She's great. New favourite? Yeah, she's up there. Maybe she and Mike were meant to be together. <laughs> she's, she's made her own travelator. Kick-ass couple. Look like at being the sequel together. If you get them both out alive, stay on or leap off. Oh man! I've stayed on. Oh no! Oh Dave. my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Emily! Stay on! Dave! You've missed it! No! 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 She's not going to be in the sequel now! Ah! Preservation of life, David! Two chances! Really sad. Merry Christmas, Emily! Crap. What now? Really sad. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I think I accidentally hit square on the way to triangle on that last one. You alright? It looked like you had time left. Well, I, I can't believe that. there's no way back! God damn it, man. Who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. <laughs> oh, man. I'm still deeply affected. I'm really sad. It's not, not worried or anything. Just who the, is it? Just open the them. Give me the pistol. No, Mike had the pistol. So you just suggest it's always best just to be calm. Open the door. You ready? Don't ready? shoot anyone. Look, you can see they're fine. Do it already. Fine. Whoever it is is probably calm by now. Uh, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no. no. Oh my god. That's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. We can see the person. It's mm -hmm. fine. Oh, oh hello, it's the fiery Hold guy. Hold on there. Hold on there, Mister. Oh, what? All right, all right. <laughs> just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Nah, just move over. Wow, Go this on, guy's move. grizzled. Let me say what I came to say. <laughs> I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh. I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. It don't belong to the Washingtons. <clears throat> this guy's speaking more sense than anybody. To yeah. The to the Wendigo. Yeah. Until that point, he was making a lot of sense. Now he's talking about <laughs> Wendigo. Let's hear it's, a, it's the tribe, isn't it? Not like we have a choice. The Wendigo's a monster, isn't it? Now, Is it? I'm only going to tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's I ate Beth's shit. body. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There's not a lot to eat up here. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man he could have moved. To yeah, why would you stay here then? The spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Wow. That's what happened, isn't it? So Hannah ate Beth. Hannah ate Beth. So the miners ate each other. I don't remember that. Oh, I remember that. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay. No! We do have a bat down there. Cool, we're gonna go to the basement, Dave. Come on, Sam. How about somewhere really high? I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Oh, oh God. And now, so Josh 
let's suppose for a moment he wasn't a killer. He definitely is now, isn't he? He's a deranged man. Oh, he's been taken. We were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. How does he know? No. I'm gonna go get him. You can go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to Oh, I'm gonna have to decide. Go with the flamethrower man. Flamethrower man, will you take me to collect my mad friend? I don't care. I'm gonna get him. I ain't coming with you. Hey! Thanks, flamethrower Chris, you do need his help. It's not even a question, Chris. Get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. Seems like a good guy. Can Mike have his gun back, please? Understand the magnitude of the situation. Now, Nath, well, where's Doctor Hill? Is Doctor Hill a figment of Josh. Josh's imagination? I think no, because he had a, we had a letter from him. I think that's his real. But in 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 yeah, in this context, has he sort of brought him here in I his think mind? Perhaps those were kind of like flashbacks, part flashback, perhaps you know, like dealing with the situation. Which one of these people would you like best, you know? But, but, but then he was in that, he was in the cabin, wasn't he? He was in that big security room and, the, and he was, Dr. Hill was berating him going, what, what are you doing? You've taken this too far. You yeah, idiot. at that point I do think Maybe it was, a, just it, it was a, a psychic manifestation. I know oh no. Shotgun, man. no you don't. Chris. What? Just an idiot. I think you should just listen to the listen man. Listen to the surviving man who's got like a thing around his neck and his eye hurts. Yeah. I quite like the cannibalism thing. That really ties the room together. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it. There's a kiss. Oh, I don't know what you did to deserve that, mate. Oh well, it's just my natural charm. <laughs> Chris is rubbish. <laughs> you, <laughs> you just went. Ooh. <laughs> you have killed Emily. I've remembered. Oh no! Don't bring that up. I'm really sad about that. Look, Emily was your clumsy, largely an idiot. But then she she was really that brave. That was amazing. She was so much better that last bit than you were. And. Um, so uh, just you offered no help, just so you know. I said buttons. I shut up. I let you do the buttons. I was like, stay on or get off. Stay on. And you were just I like, said oh, get oh, off. Oh. No, after I'd said stay on, you were like, get off, man. No, slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it, <laughs> and I can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like. It's like tough armor. So the the people who eat each other on the mountain become zombies. Yeah. The spirit of the Wendigo, or Windigo. Wendigo. That. I mean, this is. I mean, that's bad for the sisters, isn't it? The fact that we only found Beth's head is probably bad. Obviously, you know, we saw Hannah or whoever had been left there for a while. They'd scratched the. That's it, yeah. The days yeah. in. She had to eat something. Yep. What a horrible thought that is. So do you reckon she's like queen of the zombies now? Maybe she's just like a regular zombie. Who are the other zombies? The miners. There's a couple, isn't it? There were three miners that never came back up, man. Wasn't it? There was 36 and then oh, 33 right. were checked into the Oh, uh, there you're right. I guess uh, the main ones... I guess the main one is Hannah, though. You know, this, it, it seems to be more of a female one who... Uh, really? Yeah, who came and grabbed Jess. She was like a lady one. Had long, dark hair, like Hannah. Wish I'd read that bit. I mean, yeah, I, I was, really I was thinking on. about. I'm still in shock about Emily, man. So don't move. Basically, is what they're saying. They're okay. like T-Rexes. It'll tell me when to not move. Don't move. I don't trust myself anymore. What's the? Uh, I'm doing so well. What's the Jeff Goldblum quotation about not moving, Dave? Is there one? No, it's um. Is it the kid? No, it's. Oh dear. Doctor. There's a lot of blood there, Dave. Ah, uh, that's what Jeff Goldblum says. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. We gotta go right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. I wish I could do a uh, Jeff Goldblum impression. I know. He'll render you immobile, and then he strips the skin off of your entire. Oh, we should. We should go. We should go. No. He's right. Back to the basement then. Feast on your organs. And feast on your organs, one piece at a time. Why? So this guy's going to be like the captain on the boat of Jaws, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Might still be near. He's come. He's, he's survived this long, and he's imparted his knowledge on us, and he's going to go. Chris, what are you doing? Get with him. Yeah, stick with the man with the flame toe. It's best. Definitely best. Is there something behind? Sh should I check? Is that a totem? Oh, Dave, what are you doing? I've man? got to look, haven't I? It wants me to find <sighs> clues. It looks like that's it. 
crap. Anything. I mean, that is bad. This is a bad situation. Yeah, it is. You I know, well, when Josh was kind of revealed to be the, the fake killer or whatever, I was like, oh, okay. Well, the game's going to be... It's going to be a bit more friendly from, from now on, isn't it? There is something there, it's though. Not, it's not going to be friendly at all. No. No, you've got... Oh, that's the pretend. That's the pretend. Pretend body. Pretend killing fields. Oh, I think that's it. I think we're going out. Yeah. What's up here? Mm. Nothing. Thank Nothing goodness. for us. Oh, and here's the... Uh, Just forget it, Dave. Let's forget it. Let's forget it. Oh, man, Emily. Oh, I feel really bad about that. I'm responsible. It's literally my fault. She was quite annoying. She was, but she didn't deserve that, did she? No. Oh, my God. Oh, man. You're very quiet. What? Ah! I did not move. <laughs> Jesus, Dave. I did not move, man. Go. This is your worst ever episode. God damn! Gotta get out of here. Oh! oh well, he's dead now, Dave. What are you gonna no, no, do? No, oh god. Yeah, he's dead. I don't. How did he even? Oh, there it That's is. That's how it happened. Oh shit! Yeah, the man who lived on the mountain. But you've got to shoot him. No problem. So you, you could the have other shot thing, the other though? guy. I think maybe his gas canister. Oh, that would have been a better choice. I think I should have done that because they need fire to burn off their skin. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, man. Just pay attention. Oh, get back, you piece of zombie. Oh, nice Chris, one, Chris. Oh, he's got the limp. I don't care. If my, if my leg was in two, I would still be running away from this thing. Well, now we're shooting in the, in the direction we're going. No, Chris. Get to the... What's this? Should I do this? Yes! Oh, oh no! no! What are you doing? Oh, oh my God, David! <laughs> what have you done? That is like... I mean, that is a lot of people you just getting killed. That's three... Oh. There's his head. There's his head, mate. Well done. She's heartbroken. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Are you going to save anyone? Look, you're supposed to be like just look how nice Mike's is being to Ash. That's what I need. It's some comfort. God. Do you know why he's doing that? Cuz it's not Ash's fault. That's why. In a way it is. What how did you mess that up, man? What do you mean? How did I mess it up? I didn't get there in time. We're deciding what to shoot. Well, at least he didn't keep him alive and strip the skin. We should have just shot the thing anyway, and then shot the barrels. I don't think you could do both. But either way, you shouldn't have done what you did because what you did was rubbish. It's not good up there. Mike, where is Chris? <laughs> so this is what we've got now. Four people left. He didn't. Josh is mad. Was out there. There's three people in the house. I'm, I'm and Mike's... Who knows where Mike is? Matt. Matt, Matt we haven't Matt seen. Well, there's, there uh, and there's Jess, who I don't think is dead. She's so dead. She's not dead. Emily's dead. Chris is definitely dead. I saw his head come off. Yeah. Chris sure? is dead, yeah. What are you looking for? Another way out. Do you have the key for the cable car? Josh. He's got to have it. Josh? I would just be staying in that Great. basement Great. so hard. If that fucking yeah. Thing hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna Mike, get us all the hell out. Mike, uh, you are no, very Mike. brave. No, Mike. Don't but do I don't this. think now is the time. No. This is when bravery turns into madness. Not quite. I guess what I'm mad about, David, I thought there'd be some, you know, some routes that we'd have gone down and we couldn't have saved everybody. But there is, there's two people you could have saved. Look, Nate. And you just messed it up. I know. I know. I feel awful about it. 
taking them. Okay, but this is a story. This is the story that I've written for us. Now let's just concentrate on keeping the other people alive. I hate this story. I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Why are we going back there? It's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. It is weird. That's how I got back here. It's bloody horrible. Uh, you guys know what to do. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. okay. I'll just have to go after. Just shake that off. Come on. Shake it off. Oh my god. Oh, for God's sake. This is stupid. I would just stay in a locked cage until the morning and then run screaming down the mountain. Yeah. They've got a helicopter coming. What is, I mean, this is What's that? Ashley doing? She know. looks like she's seen something. What? What? What has Sam found? What's going on? I don't know. As long as neither of them eat each other, it'll probably be fine. Ashley, what's happening? I, just, I think that we expected something to happen there that's not going to happen. Cannibalism. What's this only a few men that dared to hunt the Wendigo. I'm the only man who has ever kept them under control. He did. I didn't do it. Words. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. I like these doodles as well. He's yeah. a very serious man. Maybe like this. Uh, when a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have travelled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I've seen this happen many years ago, a craving for a flesh that cannot be sated, and then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. I meant to say to you, don't you, didn't you think that Josh had milky white eyes? I thought like he's... serious? Yeah, honestly, well, I seriously really did. just been chewing I don't on? know, but honestly, I did think that he did. I, I meant to say it to you. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of the creature born in the tribe. There's a lot of history to this. Yeah, well, that's why we're reading the book. Quiet now, actually. Born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals that lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred. Also, the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain. Hey, did Josh harm an animal? Elsewhere. Holy crap, man. I didn't. I do, I no, I'm just thinking animal. about shooting stuff. Mike put an animal out of its misery. That's true. But it, w it needed to be... That needed to happen. That's true. Maybe that's a good thing. And then its head came off. Do you remember its head came Yeah, off? I remember the head coming you off. You didn't shoot a bird? I know, or a squirrel. Sam's been very nice to animals. What's up here anyway? Is that In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred site. The dwarves in Moria, man. Same, yeah. It's the same story. Same thing. The, oh, they dug too deep. Um, the the Cree say that the mountain cried out and that the spirit was released. Survivor. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you're, the are you had a highlighter up here on the mountain. When they, yeah. them, <laughs> they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What? Where's Sam? <laughs> I don't like that. Wait, listen. If you keep totally still, unlike Dave, who got the man killed. Come on. Still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see. Uh, skin the flesh. skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armour they seem to feel no pain they cannot be cut or stabbed even bullets will not pierce their skin though a shotgun will keep them at bay because the Wendigo is mutated from a human it knows how to hunt us it can perfectly mimic its prey you must remain sharp, sharp and, and disciplined. disciplined we're in trouble God. I have killed six Wendigos knives or bullets will not harm them use a flamethrower it is the best weapon fire envelops them burns away their skin and makes them weak but try not to kill them killing a wendigo should be the last resort death releases the wendigo spirit into the air oh, I God. contain them I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages the traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them one by one I caught those who had infested the mountain this is weird now Dave we're are we going to have to make a, a, a a trap out of Emily and her arms? There's a lot in here, isn't there? There may be defences. Shamans wrote of the rituals. I have found native artefacts on the mountains and copied them. Totes, bunches of... It didn't save you, did it? That thing around your neck did not stop your head from coming off above it. 
I copied their designs. I've tested them out on the mountain. They work. They keep the Wendigo at bay, not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Interesting. Hunger cravings. Who? Skull and ribcages find miles apart. Who survived to collapse? Relatives. Strip bear found nearby. Uh, Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. So you so can get bitten and that's okay. It's fine, yeah. That's interesting. But that just feels don't, like that. Right, that's everything we've eat, learned here. So, Nate, let's summarise quickly before I go back. What have we learned? We've learned that they can not see you if you're very still. We've learned that they have armour-like skin. Unless you fire them. You've burned them. So you could have killed them with Chris. You could have burned the skin off and then shot him with a shotgun. No? Don't. Let's not talk about that. Don't kill them because the spirit goes into the air. Yeah, I guess that's bad. But, uh, but unless you can trap them. If you you kill animals, that's bad. They yep. get milky-like eyes. And I really did think that Josh's eyes were a bit milky. And pointy teeth. Mm-hmm. And they can mimic... Uh, well, I don't know what understand this mimic humans thing. Maybe like mean, if there's someone in the shadows at some point that looks like a person, you should just be careful that's a good point okay let's do this that's definitely oh, no, sam no, no, yes no, no. good what is it what does it say that's basically what me and dave were thinking i've just done let me see that shit, <laughs> <laughs> shit. yep you've got to get the mic like now mike should have done his reading before heading out there Oh, man. Oh, good. Can we stay in here? There are the others go out. Oh, Joshua. <laughs> you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. Yep. I don't yep. Know because of Dave's re- reflexes. Many others. That lead to someone's death. Or possibly allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. I tried, man. I tried. Remember last year? Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? Do you think he's a, he's a Wendigo? Oh, that man? No, Josh. Oh, you mean that's going to be the reveal here? While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. He's in a bad way. He looks okay. Yeah. No, Ooh. gloves. It's okay, it's gloves. It's gone terribly wrong. And He's your right. friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. Quite right. Mm. You're all alone. That's true also. You're here, Dr. Hill. Right? Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? How useful is this as therapy, though, really? Hold me, Dr. Hill. Why did you hurt them? Why, Josh? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Uh, whichever one you think, man. I was going to say they hurt me, right? Oh, but of course you did. They were your I mean, friends. He hasn't actually hurt anyone. Lied to them. Okay, them these are all things. Yeah, these are all true. Her. I mean, I did was arguing earlier how he did hurt them. So why don't you just say sorry? I'm going to say just sorry. say sorry. Oh, it's not too late for a Maybe Joshua can be the, he the hero that good. we read. He can. Right he can use his own limbs as bait. Do you think he could stitch Chris's head back on? It's terrible. Stop talking about crazy. It's uh, too uh, soon. Honestly, your performance in this episode. Come on! Oh! Oh my god! No! Well, there we go. Well, that's happened now. Now that has happened. 